it's time for nutrition at this point right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Now we make it a point of duty to make sure we give you all the tips that you need to make sure you're on the right track to becoming healthier and having a healthier lifestyle. Who better to talk to us about this than Coach Amara? She's here with us today and we're going to talk about managing cholesterol. And she is a passionate advocate on preventing, fighting and reversing lifestyle diseases through the use of nutrition and lifestyle modification. Welcome back to the show, Coach Amara. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So now, uh, cholesterol, this word, we hear it a lot in TV adverts. Um, sometimes the doctor says that word and you're like, mm, what exactly is cholesterol and how is it bad for us? Okay, thank you. Good morning, everybody. Happy fifth um, anniversary. Oh, thank you. Today. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah. So cholesterol basically means fats, mm. fats that is found in the body, in the bloodstream. Okay. I know we talk a lot about high blood pressure, just as we're talking about high blood sugar for some people. So cholesterol is also another, high cholesterol is also another chronic disease that should be looked out for. Because just as I said, cholesterol is like fats. You know, if you scrape a candle, the wax, Yes. That's just something to show you that what cholesterol is like. So you can imagine when you have so much of that in the body, it's going to block the arteries, it's going to stop the flow of blood and, and oxygen to basic important organs. So cholesterol basically is fat that is found in the body. Okay, so fatty, fatty blood, essentially. Exactly. Fat in the blood, fat, flat in, the blood. fat in the bloodstream. Sounds extremely scary, especially when you think of how thin and slim the blood, uh, yeah. the blood vessels yes, are. Uh -huh. And uh, just to imagine blood vessels clogging up, like the way it is when your plumber comes to yeah, come and yes, check exactly. your pipes. And no, how do we prevent this from happening? What are those foods that lead to that kind of uh, scenario? Okay, yeah, okay, so before we to understand that very well, we need to also talk about the fact that cholesterol is actually needed in the body. Okay. That's one. So because the body manufactures cholesterol on its own. Okay. So it's only when it gets too much that it becomes a problem. And also, cholesterol, we have different types. We have the good cholesterol and we have the bad cholesterol. So there's some certain foods that we eat that will trigger the bad cholesterol. That's the LDL. But we have the HDL, which is the good cholesterol that we encourage people to take more things that can help the HDL levels go up. Okay, so we need to talk about the bad cholesterol uh, foods. Uh, in layman's terms, what in our basic normal menu or diet uh, okay. contains the worst cholesterol? Now, um, some decades ago or some years ago, we, we, we know that egg, eggs got a really bad rap. Everybody started avoiding eggs. Eggs became really, really high cholesterol food. But the secret to this thing is that, yes, eggs contain cholesterol. However, it's actually what you eat with the egg that is actually making the LDL levels go up. For example, if you boil an egg and you eat it, well, that's fine. But when you take an egg and you fry it with those saturated oils, okay. those saturated oils are actually the things that now go and enhance the cholesterol, you know, make them more active in the, in, the, in the egg and also make the LDL levels go up. So if you're eating an egg, fine, but watch, watch it when you want to fry it. The oil you're using. Wait, you just said an egg. Do, do people actually just eat one egg? That's why I days? said an egg. <laughs> an egg. So That's like my egg, recommendation. One egg a day or one, one egg, egg a day? One egg two, three times a week is not harmful. But when you try to like exceed mm. that, that's when. So we know there are some people, even in this studio here, that eat like three or four eggs in Every one day. day. Oh, okay. That's the standard. <laughs> and they'll stuff it between bread with oh. some very nice right. margarine uh, okay. and eat yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. when egg on its own is not bad. But like I told you, that all those margarine, the saturated fat that you're now eating yeah. with it goes into the mayonnaise. body. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise goes into the body and then mixes with that cholesterol to form plaque that now goes and clogs you know, the bloodstream and everything. So in the end, this issue of cholesterol is probably one of the factors that leads to this blood pressure issues as well. Yes. Uh, because obviously clogged blood vessels, uh, blood pressure, blood. obviously pressure in, in, and all that. But now um, we've talked a bit about eggs and we've talked a bit about oils. Um, everyone uses some form of vegetable oil or the other. Which are the most healthy? Like we said, we talked about it offline. Um, Olive oil still remains my best oil, but like we said, it can be expensive. So what do you do? Just instead of frying it, usually frying an egg every day, you choose the days that you, it must be something that you use every day so that you can, you know, save it if you don't want to use it so much and you finish it. But extra virgin olive oil still remains my best. There's canola oil. 
um, it has some controversy con um, concerning it, which um, people have tended to not use it so much anymore. But there's avocado oil, which is also wonderful. And these things, you can get them in short, but like you said, they can be expensive. They can be expensive. Yeah. Uh, obviously, there are alternatives to frying now. Yes. Uh, there are devices like the air fryer. That's also um, true. Which is, so is, is it advisable to maybe switch up and start using an air yeah, fryer? Yeah, fine. Um, I know we have um, air popped uh, popcorn. Okay. Instead of frying it in the oil, you air pop it. That's fine. That's fantastic. Okay. So okay. those are other measures that people also use now to limit their intake of these heat oils. That so there's also a lot of controversy over dairy products uh, and the cholesterol levels. Can you talk to us a bit about that? Yes. Dairy products are also high in saturated fat. And the thing about saturated fat is that they go into the body and also mix with the cholesterol and enhance the performance of cholesterol in the body. That's why people tend to shy away from dairy products. So what I would suggest is if you want to take dairy products like yogurt, milk, there's skimmed products out there. There are low fats out there. That's why people, instead of the whole milk, which has all the fat and everything, you can switch to the skimmed milk, 1% okay. fat. And then, yeah. All right then, mm -hmm. so uh, let's make smart decisions with regards uh, our nutrition so that we are not enforced to make decisions on our health status, people. Okay. It's really important that we get this done, take our health into our own hands. May our health system never catch us. Mm -hmm.